Race 10 is the 200,000 Tassels three-year-old trophy. It's a 10 furlong list race for three-year-olds. Aikman, Allen at the top for Graham Crittable, Casino Lord, Paul Parsons, Death Star, Nick Driver, Isambard, Brunel, Paul Rhodes, Replica, Padre Hogan, Speed King, Daniel French, Swinging Groom, Martin Lidham, Take the High Ground, Jim Murray, The White One, Derek Hinton, Time to Play the Game, Joshua Sullivan, Townhouse, David Robertson, Double Indemnity, Leon Van Rensburg, Fine Purple Hero for Muna, Silver Tongue, Jim Murray, Star Attraction, Daniel French, and Trapanga City, Darren Thompson, 16 of them then, in this big prize on offer and ready to go and away they go and who's going to be the one to take them along looks like it could well be take the high ground or oh, Jim Murray gets into the lead and then immediately puts the brakes on as the rest of the field get past him and then fights back into the lead again so Oh, what the jockey's doing there, goodness only knows. But anyway, take the high ground now, does seem to want a lead. And he's been driven into a three or four length lead. Not even going to try and get across the defence. No, it's a straight track, but sometimes the rail will help to keep them straight and keep them going, if, especially if they're out there on their own. But take the high ground. Jockey doesn't seem to think he needs a fence. He's three lengths clear at this point. As we see them racing away from us there, you can see the one at the back replica is... On the inside rail but they're past the six now and take the high ground is in the lead by about two to three lengths difficult to judge the distance when they're across the track i'm not sure how the angle works time to play the game has moved through into second death star is third then isambard brunel is next double indemnity and casino lord silver song and swinging groom are after that one looking to the back eight manala has now been relegated to the back four furlongs to go then and take the high ground he's in the lead he's been chased now by isambard brunel down on the inside of him there though comes double indemnity coming through paul parsons casino lord running a big race then on the inside it's time to play the game fine purple hero and star attraction is there swinging groom's going to need a split to go up the inside rail the gray the white one has got work to do as well but it's still take the high ground he's got the lead for jim murray he's still got a three length lead then as they come down towards the final furlong and a half and they're not making any ground on him at the moment they're gonna to have to come out of the back some of these in a minute take the high ground he's hanging on with a furlong to go take the high ground he's in the lead they're not closing on him at all at the moment they're starting to work into his lead now though but there's only half a furlong to go the jockey hasn't looked around he should keep going and he's not gonna do it i don't think because fine purple heroes come through and fine purple hero takes it and if jim murray wants to sack a jockey that's the wonder sack because I don't know what he was doing in that race really because he was messing about at the start and then he was messing about at the end and I think he's been run out of second as well. Fine purple hero has taken it for Muna so I think had some issues with a jockey last week when he's taken that one he won't be too worried about that jockey that jockey did a good job fine purple hero takes the big prize for munas isn't bad brunel second for paul Rhodes. take the high ground for jim murray what on earth was that jockey doing looking round instead of concentrating on the post in the final half furlong fourth was time to play the game for joshua sullivan and fifth was star attraction for daniel french